Welcome to the Card Dojo. My name is Sean, and guys, today we got a new product review as well as a fantasy Rip League week two lineup. And I'll have the week one results at the end of the episode. But for now, guys, let's focus on this box. There are 12 boxes per case, and then in each box, there are here we go 10 packs. Each pack has 40 cards. Of those 400 cards, guys, 400 cards to get through today. Uh, of those 400 cards, you have 10 parallels, I believe, and 4 autographs. So really, we're looking for about 14 cards out of these 400. Gently removing the packs. There we go. There goes the box, guys. And let's just get right into this. It's going to be long. And again, because there are about... You know, 14 to 20 cards that we're actually looking for. What are we going to do? Slap the base big time. Yes. Guys, this base is going to get slapped pretty hard. So uh, that's just a quick front. There's the back. Now, I will pause maybe just for uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. Of course, they are my PC team. Other than that, guys, we're, we're not even going to pause for the backup team, which is the New York Giants. Alrighty, I was also going to mention that most of the parallels, the 10 parallels, will be these scorecards. Unfortunately, unnumbered. But there you go with Daryl Rivas. On to some inserts or rookies, hot rookies for Brock Bowers. Drake May, draft. We got Kyler Murray. Um, Come with me if you want James to Conner, okay. So you can get some decent veteran autos. By the way, guys, even for score, these cards feel quite flimsy. Um, but to get the train going real quick, we'll stand up a James Conner, unnumbered, but that'll help the uh, Fantasy Rip League, for those of you who know what that is. Um, I will, again, Brock Bowers, Carson, Robinson, Hall, Mitchell, uh, Tampa, and then Bullard. So I'm focused on just pulling a Xavier Worthy. I believe that Caleb Williams is not in the set because why would he be? Why would you do that to us anyway? Uh, we're going to slap through the base here. I think I saw a giant, maybe even LT. Uh, and there you go. Isaiah Pacheco, guys. For the Chiefs PC. He still has no autos in a Panini product or any product for that matter. Uh, maybe this year we'll get lucky. Okay. All right. Jaden Reed is the, uh, the scorecard for the Packers. Parallel Pile, uh, Penix Jr., we got Ronnie Lott, Puka, unfortunately injured, uh, and then there we go, George Pickens. Um, did I literally just pull a George Pickens autograph uh, the other day? I might have. Well, we'll look in a second. Uh, and here we go, Taylor, Benson, Verse, Wilson. We got upside down Ray Davis, uh, Corley, Turner, Smith. We're not and there we go. We're not but the Chiefs PC not really going to help in the fantasy league because it's not a parallel. But there you go. That's the one rookie that we're looking for. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. And yeah, in my last rip was Prestige. We pulled this auto. And then today we pulled this auto. Uh, okay. Consistency, guys. Consistency is key. And uh, George Pickens doesn't really have much of that. Oh, my goodness. Um, I should be sleeving these up, but I am, uh, I'm not. So here we go. Pack number three. Already two autos. Um, you know, mediocre. Mediocre guys, right? Can we just do this? I don't want to... Where's the parallel? Okay, whatever. Ruining that. Uh, there's LT... I don't want to, I, I tried not spoiling it. I think I just spoiled it even more than if I had just done it the way I was doing it before. And, oh, Patrick Mahomes, guys. Even though it's a base card, we always stand up every Patrick Mahomes here. Unfortunately for you, you have to look at it. All right, and then, yeah, base. Now we have a Trey Benson upside down. Oh, okay. It's just numbered. It's not an auto. So Trey Benson, our first numbered parallel is out of 100. That is number uh, 64. 64, there you go. We're sitting down in the um, the parallel numbered pile. Uh, Rome, Odunze, Xavier Worthy, okay. PC worthy. pile, on top of Pacheco, Kenneth Walker, uh, Burton, Trice, 
Frank Gore Jr., Stover, uh, Quinton Mitchell, Upside Down, Dijon, 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 Marshawn Lloyd, Andrew Phillips, Joe Alt, and then the Kid Reporter, guys. The first Kid Reporter of 2024 here, anyway. Um, this is my first 2024 product at all, you know, in, in, in general. I don't know there's many that have been out other than unlicensed stuff. Can we do it the right way this time around? We're going to do it from right mm, there. Maybe another numbered uh, parallel coming up in this in this pack. The base. Do we get a Travis Kelsey or uh, Chris Jones maybe? Uh, not there. Okay. Harrison Smith. And then Keon Coleman. Keon Coleman for the Bills. Uh, the guy who they traded for, basically, or traded down for, traded back, giving the Chiefs Xavier Worthy. Uh, number 33 out of 35. That's not too bad. A nice numbered rookie. We'll stand this one up because it's shinier than the other blue that is not shiny. Uh, so that's two parallels that are numbered. Okay, Latu, Anthony Richardson. Uh, this is I mean, Barry Sanders. <laughs> Emerged from Michael Penix. The rookies are going to be Brooks. Penix again. Uh, McMillan. There's Coleman again. Touchdown. Bailey for the Chiefs. City. PC. We'll put him over there. Uh, Walker. An upside down Murphy. Um, Fatanu and Allen. All right, guys. We're on pack number five. We have hit two autos and two number cards. I was going to say I would expect maybe like four number cards out of the whole, the whole bunch. We'll go to about there. Ooh, who's that? Joe Montana. We'll slap the base again. Slap the base. Yes. Yes, thank you. Oh, there's Travis Kelsey for the PC pile. Okay, moving along. And there we go. Okay, what was this card? It looks like maybe backwards. Steve Young Auto would be fantastic. It's not. It's a numbered card out of 100. That is number uh, 28. And that's Men of Canton. The dark black edges are very risky for Panini. You can already see a little bit of whitening on that one corner. Uh, we'll put him in the number card pile. Then we got Derek Carr, J.J. McCarthy, uh, Brian Thomas Jr., Ray Lewis. And then the rookies are going to be uh, Kinchen, Neighbors for the Giants backup PC, sure. Uh, Rice, Robinson, Pratt, Guyton, Baker, uh, Latham, Johnson, and a kid reporter. All right, so that is the halfway point. Uh, how are we doing on time? 14 minutes. Not, uh, well, I'm averaging out. Seven minutes, so I figure on average this would be like a 14-minute a rip. And then we'll do a little bit of fancy rip league afterwards. Uh, the base cards. Do we see? I see Phil Sims. Uh, and then I don't see anyone else of concern here. And boom, there you go. Tyree Kill. The score parallel. That would be not bad for the Fantasy Rip League, potentially. Uh, Brock Purdy. Um, Zach Thomas. Penix Jr., hot rookies. Michael Parsons. And then the rookies are going to be uh, Max Melton. Is he related to Bo? I'm not really sure. Uh, Sua Matia for the Chiefs. We'll put him in the PC pile. Murphy. Dorless. JJ McCarthy. Uh, Hicks for the Chiefs. All right. Wiggins. Jones. And then the Kid Reporter. So we're doing pretty good with the Chiefs. I wouldn't mind pulling like a Chiefs auto. Uh, can you guess whose auto you, you can pull in this product, guys? Can you guess? Do you know who it is? Well, I don't. Uh, I don't think anyone does because Panini is about as transparent as a lead, lead wall. Uh, there's Marcus Allen. Uh, yeah, they don't really give the playlist, uh, the, the uh, checklist out anymore before the product's out because they want to be sneaky, like not including Caleb Williams. Uh, in the, a flagship, I guess, kind of score. I mean, it's a pretty big big brand, even though it's cheap. Jacoby Myers, parallel. Oh, Grant Delpit, look at that, guys. We got double parallels in this pack. Well, that's a big W for us. Uh, Rome, Brian Murphy, Ty Law, Christian Gonzalez, and the rookies are going to be Harold, Franklin, Johnson, Bowers, Carson, Robinson, Hall, Mitchell, and Tampa. Okay, so we still get two autos. There's a 
a good chance maybe we save one for last, unless they both come back to back here, which is quite possible, especially now that I said that out loud. All right, there go the base. Yep, there we go. I can spot a chief a mile away. A little kicker love, Jansen. Okay, Aaron Jones and the parallel is going to be Joe Alt, the rookie. We have Emerged, and this is Bijan. Then Joe Alt. Then we got Eric Dickerson. Uh, Cade Stover, guys. That's our next auto. Cade Stover, tight end for the Houston Texans. I am not incredibly familiar, but he does have a nicer auto. I mean, comparatively, comparatively speaking to the other guys. We'll stand him up. We'll stand him up. That's our first rookie auto. It's a tight end, so you never know. Uh, then we got Bishop. That guy. Latu. Wilson. Uh, Leggett. Smith. Rattler. Drake May, and then Jenkins. All right, guys. Did we save the final auto for last? And will we get another number card? So, so far, we only have three number cards. I was expecting possibly four. Um, who knows? Okay. So, yep, there you go. That's the base. Oh, there's a Chief. There's George Karlofkis. Fantastic. And we're moving on. I think, guys, we hit the auto in this one. So, so much for saving the big hit for last. I'm not going to make you wait. It could be a parallel, though. Justin Jefferson. And there it is. Eric Dickinson. No, it can't be an auto. Yeah, no, unfortunately, I wouldn't mind that. I know someone who would uh, appreciate an Eric Dickerson auto. But that is uh, another blue parallel. A lot of blue parallels, guys, out of 100. That is 41 out of 100 on top of our Steve Young. So that was the shortest print uh, out of 35. It was also blue, but it was a shiny version of blue. Um, better than, I guess, the matte blue. There's CJ Stroud. Uh, Thomas Jr. <clears throat> Um, Lassiter, Booker, Newton, Arnold, Mims, Wingo, All, Trotter Jr., and then the Kid Reporter, guys. Here we go. We are on the final pack. 40 more cards. One will be an auto. Can we get a numbered auto? I'd take a numbered bet auto. I mean, I don't mind, but really, I guess the Xavier Worthy would be the best auto I could pull. Uh, we're going to go to the parallel, which is right there. We're going to quickly slap the base. Nope, that's the Niner. Niners and Chiefs can look fairly similar. Oh, uh, there we go. Christian Okoye, the Nigerian Nightmare. One of the main reasons I'm a Chiefs fan from back in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, I'm moving that out of the way. And then we got uh, Trevor Lawrence. Tyler Alligator is going to be um, the parallel. And I'm just kind of sliding that, that auto into the back. There's Bo, Bo Nix. Uh, Corum, Marvin Harrison Jr., Newbin, Hall, Hall Jr., Powers Johnson, uh, Kamal Hayden. So I think we got like pretty much every Chiefs rookie, so that's pretty good. We don't have to rip any more score. Uh, Colson, and all right, yeah, Herbert. We got Astime. I would have said estimate, um, but I didn't. I, I kind of did. Uh, Cooper. Dijon, I'm assuming, or Dijon. And here we go, guys. This could be an eagle. So let's just flash it, guys. On the count of three. One, two, three. Johnny Wilson. And that is numbered out of 50. Johnny Wilson, wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. You can read all about him right there if you, if you pause it. Uh, but yeah. Hey, listen, the gold ones are, are pretty nice looking, actually. I don't mind it here. Nice classic look. The first time we're actually admiring a card in the photography is, is the very last card. But it's a nice parallel. has that rainbow foil. And there we go. So, yeah. That is score, guys. You know, like I said, it's, it's overpriced for the lowest end product you can get in the uh, of all the Panini products. Still overpriced by, like, I would say $100. But, hey, we got a James Conner and George Pickens um, autos. You know, those guys that you're usually drafting around, what, like the... The 6th to 10th round. What are these? Just, just base cards. Alright, let's go set a lineup. Okay, Fantasy League time, guys. I'm going to have the uh, scores from week 1 around here. Um, as a reminder, the top 4 after the first 2 weeks combined score. The top 4 will go to a little mini playoff. And then the winner of that playoff will be the champion of Heat 1. Uh, we do that 3 more times so other people can get in and out of the, uh, the ripping. And once we have the 4 champions we will have the final championship of champions now i'm in a pretty good spot here guys so hopefully the score box 
will put me to the playoffs of, of uh, Heat 1 so that I can kind of take it easy. Uh, the remainder of the season, I think I did that last year as well. So for our defense, we're going with uh, Daryl Revis representing the Jets. And that'll be times two. There you go. Um, now for the defensive player, I went chalk. I just picked the highest rated player for this week, and that is uh, Foye Oladukin uh, from the Jaguars. Times one. So, yeah. Here we go. Now, receiver was a, a tough one, guys. I have this read. He is number one because of last week. I believe he went over 30 points in uh, PPR. This is half PPR, though. But still. Uh, but he had Jordan Love, and now he does not. So, Malik Willis. I'm going to put him on the bench. And the real decision, guys, was Tyree Kill times two against a, uh, a Coleman times three. Tough decision. Uh, 20 gets me 40 and 15 gets me 45 so can you get 15 versus 20 tough decision I'm gonna say maybe he has a standout game breakout game for the rookie there you go wide receiver number two WR1 returning from week one here we go George Pickens again time six uh, he helped me get here so hopefully he'll do a little better Put him as a WR1. This is where it gets a little homery. I honestly did look for a Sam Laporta. I skimmed through all 400 cards. Didn't see a Sam Laporta, so I am going to start Travis Kelsey at tight end. I was trying to avoid playing a whole lot of cheats. But uh, Travis Kelsey times one. Lock him in as our tight end. Uh, running back two. We're going with Isaiah Pacheco. Uh, why? Because I feel like it. Times one. There we go. Now our WR1 is going to be James Conner because we pulled the auto. So that's time six. Can't uh, can't not play that, guys. So there you go. Uh, times six. And finally, guys, our quarterback. So many fantasy league championships on the line. There's so many fantasy league championships on the line. Yeah, we're right going to go Pat Mahomes. Times one. Oh, that's a good call. So we got a bunch of Chiefs times one as well as the Jaguar. But then everyone else got multipliers. We managed to play two out of our four autos. Uh, the other two just weren't feasible. They're rookies who haven't really played yet. Um, so, there you go. These guys couldn't play them. And then the other parallels, well, you know, you saw. Well, there you go, guys. That is my week two lineup. Hopefully, I make it into the playoffs. I'll go hard in the playoffs, maybe, if I can find a product. Hopefully, win. And then I can take it easy. But we'll all see about that, guys. So, for now, as always, thank you so much for stopping by. And take care.